Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new modeling video in Maya 2018. Well, today we're going to be doing something uh, quite different. We're going to be modeling a cartoon style house. Alright, let's check it out. Here we go. Alright guys, well we're in Maya 2018 and I decided to do a slightly different approach this time. Okay, so normally I will walk you through every individual step of the process while modeling. Today, because we're doing a cartoony style uh, house and I want to be able to do more in less time, uh, we're going to do a time lapse and I'm going to talk you through it. Okay, so uh, what's important here is to kind of set up a perimeter. So I'm going to create a base for the house um, just so you can take that as a, a self standing unit, if you will. Right. So that can be a circle, it can be a square, but just something to contain the entire scene, if you will. Right. Now, while modeling this, uh, you need to uh, add some additional elements, or you can. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating kind of uh, fence parts. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly closing fence. After all, it's a cartoony style. So you want to keep it very whimsical, uh, funny, uh, out of proportion, and, and sometimes even not realistic, okay? Just to get a kind of a funny feel to it. And uh, you know your creativity, your creativity is basically the limit. You can do pretty much whatever you want, right? So just by putting up a couple of these elements, you get a sense that it is a fence, and that is more than enough. So when these are in place, we need to make sure that they uh, are not too straight either. Um, if you uh, look at them um, from the top view, for example, so you want to adjust that a little as well. Okay. All right. Well, once you're happy with that, you need to uh, kind of figure out, okay, so how big is my house going to be? And what's the footprint going to be of my house? So I'm putting in a placeholder right now that is not going to be the actual house. Uh, just so we can put something in like, um, you know, stepping stones or boards or something like that. Okay. So uh, just so I know what the appropriate distance is. And of course, you don't want them to be too straight either. So uh, give it a bit of rotation, play with those vertices and uh, make sure that they look a bit whimsical as well. Now, during the modeling process, you don't want to be too concerned about, you know, a clean mesh. You just want to uh, be creative, but keep in mind that once you are happy with your uh, finished model, you will have to go in, check for end guns, make sure you don't have any unnecessary faces that are at ends of objects and so forth, and uh, make sure it's clean, depending on what your use is, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm starting with uh, the base of uh, the house there. And what I want to do is kind of a multi-stack setup. Uh, like I said, something that is completely unrealistic. Um, you know, it's probably not even possible, but it's just uh, fun to do it that way, right? And as you're modeling, just, uh, you know, play with it and see where you end up. Uh, don't use a reference, at least I don't because then you're basically copying something. And I just want to create something that is, uh, you know, come in design. Again, uh, looking at the roof, make sure you try to avoid as many straight lines as possible um, by playing with those vertices.
And then we're gonna go in and start to create some doors and windows. Now, whenever you're modeling something like this, you kind of have the option, and am, am I gonna cut into the walls and create windows and doors that way? Or am I gonna place them on top of, as I'm doing right here? Now, if you're not gonna put in transparent glass in your model, and typically that is not the case when you're working on something cartoony, uh, it's much, much easier to create that and put it on top of, okay? So I just put in a little doorknob there and now I'm borrowing that uh, framework, if you will, to uh, create some windows. Uh, again, uh, changing that shape, of course, making sure it doesn't look too straight. And uh, just putting that in and we'll do one on top as well. in some cross sections. And let's uh, put in a little chimney on the left hand side there. And again, crooked of course, you, don't, you want to uh, avoid straight lines. Let's put a little uh, cap on that. Now on the other end, I wanted to have a, a little um, addition on top there, a little uh, additional little roof, if you will. So basically just uh, copying the same uh, concept that we did before. Let's go in and borrow that window so we can use it for that little uh, addition.
And now I'm putting in some uh, gutters. And it's always cool to add some external elements to the building uh, just to, for the visual aspect. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what will work best here in this situation. Now from that point on I'm trying to uh, create kind of an elaborate system of uh, pipes and so forth just to make it look a little bit funky and um, you can see based on the position that it doesn't make sense at all that it's right there but it doesn't matter it's, it's fun that's the point. Please let me know if you like this kind of setup. Um, you know, normally when I'm doing my tutorials, I'm going through each individual step, and uh, this is just a lot of repetition of moving verts and so forth. So by doing it this way, I can do uh, more in less time, and uh, let me know if you enjoy that kind of thing, okay? Just putting in some uh, additional stones there just to kind of break that surface and give it a little bit more uh, decorative uh, look.
and I just decided to uh, turn on wireframe uh, on top of shaded and also turn on ambient occlusion just so you can see a little bit better how things are looking and I'm continuing to put in some of those uh, decorative stones. Now at this point I'm going to put in some cornerstones here and again make sure they're not too straight. Uh, basically for the same purpose, breaking the surface and uh, you know having a little bit more detail to look at. And there you have it guys, that's basically our model. So uh, let me know if you enjoyed this setup and uh, that said, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.